Owly is such a creeper. everyone, welcome back to another episode of Enchanted Oasis. I'm super excited for this episode today because it's the first episode I've kind of had uh, been able to do solo because prior I kind of did an episode with Tiff and then I did an episode with the, all the other girls. So I have a lot of things to show you guys today and if things look a little different. I did mention in my last episode that I have been experimenting with new texture packs and, shader pa and shaders packs. So if it looks a little different, that might be why, but I'm not saying that these are permanent, just kind of testing other things to see um, how it makes my Enchanted Oasis world look. But I, so far, I do kind of like this texture pack. It makes it a lot more, I guess, enchanting. I just like the dark grass, to be honest. The other texture pack that I had made the grass look really yellow and it really annoyed me. <laughs> But, okay, so I'm really excited to show you guys a couple of things, mostly because you guys have not met a certain something, and he's really cute, although you have known about him, you haven't um, officially met him, <laughs> and here he is, it's Owlie, so I decided to name my owl Owlie, and, um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but... I kind of retextured him and he's a lilac color. So I wanted him to be like a pastel purpley color. Um, I found out that you can change the colors of your owls and for some reason every time I dyed him a different color it didn't really show up. The only color that really showed up really really well was the white one but Tiff had already dyed her owl white and I didn't want to dye my owl white so. Um, I decided, well, I'll just go in and change the texture, and he's a, he's supposed to be a pastel lilac color. Um, I think the shaders pack is making him look a little bit bright, but if you can tell, I can tell. He's really cute, and his name's Ali, and I love him. He's so cute, and I want to build an area for him because I don't want him to live in here with all the butterflies because uh, I don't want him to, you know, eat them or anything, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I've actually collected a lot of but butterflies as you guys can see. There's a couple of butterflies that are double, but for the most part I've just been going around and collecting them. I still need to make my butterfly encyclo encyclopedia. <laughs> Um, and I need two more butterflies for it. I have all these four. I need the green hair streak and uh, there's like a moth one that I need to get. But I basically have all the materials for it. I'm, I just need to collect those and I have no idea where to find those butterflies. But over here I wanted to show you guys a little something. So. Um, the other day we had mentioned that we wanted to make a magic area for all of our structures and stuff and I ended up um, over here I ended up making a structure for all of our magical things so over here I made this little bridge and I think Tiff added these um, and over here I made the, the whole platform I ended up making the <laughs> Good day, Wanderer. <laughs> Good day to you. <laughs> um, so I ended up making the the huge. Uh oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Do I have food? Oh, I have raw beef. Ah, uh, let me just eat this really quick because I'm starving. I didn't realize that I was. Um, so I ended up making this huge platform to put all of our magical things on and I made all these platforms and stuff. Um, I was going to place all of our structures on here. I'm not sure if we were supposed to place our own structures or if we were just supposed to make more and place them on here because I noticed some of the girls still have their structures. Um, and I brought mine over here. I brought my Ars Magica crafting altar over here and then I brought my 
um, essence nexus over here and then this is a light nexus but um, this one is glass so this one is only gonna charge in the daytime so I thought it would be cool to make one that charges at night so the moonstone helps this uh, light essence charge at night if we're, we ever need it for any reason and um, I think it was Tiff maybe that uh, added like the the witch stuff and um, all those structures and stuff over there. Um, I don't know if she brought in her items, but um, I don't know. I don't know if we were supposed to bring, bring our own or if just make more. I don't know. Maybe I misunderstood, but I know I transferred my stuff over here and. Um, so, uh, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to add a little something over here to our crafting area. I don't know what we were going to call it. We were going to, I thought we were going to leave it up to the subscribers, but I think everybody might be calling it magic quarters already. So I don't know if that's, if it's going to stay, um, that, or if we're still going to change it. But um, over here, I wanted to make this uh, machinery that helps you repair your items because uh, I did notice in Ars Magica that uh, there is a uh, machine that helps you repair <laughs> items and uh, I thought it would be cool to try it out because we do have some issues with like um, our wings and stuff breaking. So. Um, I thought that maybe it would repair the wings before they break so that we don't have to continue making more and more wings. Um, and then I also, if we get a chance to get to it, I wanted to make Owly a little area. I wanted to make him his own area that I could put him in. I was thinking of making him a big huge tree because owls live in trees for the most part and um, I thought it would be really, really cool to make him like a little area um, over here somewhere. I was thinking, oh, you know where? You know what would be really, really cool? Oops, I keep on falling into the water. Um, let me see. I think, I think I will probably put him over here instead. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I retextured the torches. They're supposed to be like, they look more enchanting to me. I love how the flame like is animated and uh, the fire, I made it more like, I don't know, like hot pink. It, there's hot pink in there, pastel pink, purple, and there's supposed to be mint green, but you can't really tell, but it's in there. <laughs> um, I can make him a huge tree right on this area. That, that would be really, really cool. Like a little tree that goes up and I could have like a little area that he goes in and you could go inside the tree and then it's all decorated inside and he lives in there. I think that would be really, really cool. But uh, yeah, so let me start off with that magic um, repair thing. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I watched a tutorial on it. Um, but I don't know if I remember how <laughs> to do it because I have many brain. So in here, if you guys remember, this used to be where I had my magical structures uh, for Ars Magica. And since I moved all my stuff over there, I decided to still make this my Ars Magica room. But I put a roof over it and then I just made all this extra stuff. Oh, and you know what? We should take these over there to the magical quarters too because... Uh, it looks as though the essence nexus is a little bit too far from the crafting altar. So, um, oh, block leg. Block leg! Is it gonna break? No. <laughs> there it goes. Um, it looks as though the essence nexus or some of the nexuses might be too far from the crafting altar. And I know the essence nexus, um, is used for the crafting altar and, uh, if it's more than 10 blocks away, it won't work. So I'll take these over there um, so that if anybody decides to use it, they can, they don't have to make these um, conduits anymore. I think that's what it's called. Are they conducts or conduits? I don't know. But let me take these out of the way. 
And I think I'll keep one here just because I like the way they sparkle. <laughs> I like the little particles they shoot off. So I'll put mine right over here. Okay, so here is the... Oh, you know what I need to make? I need to make a mana battery. I don't know how to make those. So this is the... Oops. Nope, not that. No, not that. I want this. Okay, so this is what I need. It's the Arcane Reconstructor. And let me look up how to make the... Ah, oh, what was it called? What was it called? No. Uh, the mana battery. Mono battery thingy and see if it works. Um, oh, oh, arcane ash. Oh, I just ran out of that. I have all this stuff except this. I forgot how to make it. I forgot how to make it. I forgot how to get it. How do I get it? Oh, shoot. I completely forgot how to make the arcane ash. Ooh, maybe it's in my book. Oh, and. I made a spell book, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to I wanted to make it a different color because you could dye them. Yay! There we go. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll look up how to get our. Oops, nope. Come back, your book. Boom backer. Okay. I guess what I'll do is I'll look up how to make. The arcane ash because I completely forgot how to make it. Uh, uh, no, no. Arcane reconstructor. Mm. Huh. I forgot how to make it. So I'm gonna look it up really quick <laughs> and then I'll be back. Cool. So, alright. So I think we do it like this and uh, like uh, this I think I think and like that um, and I hope I'm right ah yay got it okay <clears throat> I think I'm gonna need I think I'm gonna need one but we should make a couple we should just make a couple so that I don't have to continue um, Making some over and over and over again. Um, 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 um. Oh, and I'm out of glowstone. Alrighty. Well, okay. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> so what we do is we put it in the furnace and we smelt it and then we get the arcane ash. Um, I've kind of been trying to catch up on Ars Magica and stuff. Uh, I think this is a really cool mod. Oh, look at Look at the fire! It looks so pretty! I like this color of the fire better. It looks more enchanted oasis. It's like purpley hot pink. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Alright, so... Okay, what was I gonna make? The... the mana compound thing. Um, the mana ba battery. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see. Let's look in our book. How to make the mana... Actually, I'll just bring this up. So, oh no, obsidian, diamond, oh no, wrong one. <laughs> so, vindium dust, uh, arcane ash, and that pretty glowy stone. I can never pronounce it, but, <clears throat> okay. And where is my vindium dust? I have it right here. Okay, oh wait, how, how many are on here? I have some right here. Oh, I have enough. Alrighty. Do I have a crafting table in here? Did I put one in here? I didn't. I should have one in here. Um, oh man! I took it out! Oh, well, I could just use this one, I think. I think this is the same thing. Okay. So, it's like this. And let's take that one out. And I put this one here. And these are right here. Yay! And then a lever. I think I have a love love <laughs> I think I have a lever in one of these things. If I'm not mistaken. I don't. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am just going to take this over there and make a lever. <clears throat> and once I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, so we're over here at the magic quarters area and and I decided to bring Allie with us because 
I think he's super cute and I love him so much. <laughs> I am just flying. I am just flying around being cute. <laughs> okay, Ellie, stay right here. Good job. Um, alrighty, so I have my mana battery. So we had to put this right here. And where's my lever? I think I think we use a lever. I'm not too sure. But let me get is it the crystal wrench? I think it's the crystal wrench. I'm supposed to... Oh, you know what? This one's not going to work because it's nighttime right now. So, yeah. Wait, but I think there's essence in it already. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Let's see if it's charged. Is there essence inside? <gasps> there's essence inside! 100%. I think it'll still work. There we go. It's on. It's on. There we go. Yay! It's powering up. Alrighty. So now we are going to add... I'm sorry if you hear that loud plane. This. And I think what we do is... we. There we go. It's charging. It's charging. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so... Um... Since we have our light nexus, it was actually charging way too slow. So I used all my gold ingots that I had. <laughs> Those things are super hard to find and I had been collecting a couple. So I had to go ahead and use basically all of my gold to upgrade the cap stones on the light nexus so that it could charge faster. And although it's been working. Um, it's still not charging fast enough. The next ones up would probably be diamond, and diamond has been kind of hard to find as well. Um, but th the most powerful is the moonstone, but the moonstone only charges at night, which that's kind of a bummer. But, um, I have a feeling that this needs to be, the arcane reconstructor needs to be at 100% for it to work. And it's only at 16% um, essence detected. So, I'm going to continue. Let's see. Do I have any more in here? What if... Can I? Hmm. I wonder if I can transfer this mana battery thing. Is it called a mana battery? Yeah. Over here. Huh. I wonder if this would work. Because, yeah, it's still at 6%. So, let's try this. Let's... Where is my crystal wrench? So let me get my crystal wrench. And... Or the community crystal wrench. And, um... Oh! It's a moth. I have that one, though. Okay, so let's... What is this one out? 35%. So let's see... Okay, there's a light. And let's... Give it a destination. And let's see if it starts charging. Is it on? On. Yay! Yay, it's charging! Cool. So... Maybe this will work. Hopefully. Is it going up? Yep, it's going up. Alrighty, so... We'll let that charge. And then once this is at 100%, uh, maybe I could bring the modern battery back or whatnot and see if it works. But until then, it's just going to take a long time and it's going to be a lot of waiting around. And um, I know that some of you <laughs> get kind of bored with these uh, magical mods. So we won't deal with that in until maybe like the next episode. Yeah, come on, Allie. Let's go back home. And what I wanted to do before this episode ended was I wanted to make Allie a little house. He needs a little house. He needs a little house to live in and sleep in and be safe in. <laughs> okay, um, so owls live in little tree houses with a little owl hole. So I thought it'd be really, really cool to make him a tree somewhere. Um, oh, oh, I thought he smacked me. <laughs> but uh, I'm starving, so let me eat some steak. And I wonder if there's a spell that I can make that will heal me when I'm hungry and make me fool. That would be awesome. No, 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 no! Butterfly 
butterflies are gonna fly out. And while I was over there, I caught another butterfly and I accidentally th I thought I had a jar with me, but I didn't and now it's dead and I'm sad because I didn't have this one. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go, oh, I'm gonna go show you, oh yeah, the area that I will be making Ali's house is outside in the back. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna make it right here I think that would be cool or hmm should I make it right here or hmm hmm there was a little area over here as well that I kind of liked it was kind of right here is cool too and then it's kind of by all my animals, so maybe I can make this my animal area, but... Hmm, I don't know. I kind of wanted an area where it was more, I guess, accessible. And that's kind of hidden, so... Hmm, maybe... Maybe we can make it... Ooh, what about right here? We can make it right here, I think. That'll be cool. No? Yeah? Okay, so I think I'm gonna make his treehouse right here. So Allie, can you can you sit still for a little bit? Just just a little bit. You're oh there. I think when his little feet are in, that means he's gonna stay. I'm not too sure. It might be the other way around. Uh, is he staying? Uh, doesn't look like it. He's flying over here. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can. Let's see, should I make it this way? Hmm, I don't know how to make it. Maybe we can make it... Hmm, maybe I can make it right here. Maybe I can move this area out of the way. Yeah, I think I'll move this out of the way. Do I have... I don't have a wooden axe, so I'll just do it with my hand. So, let's get this away. Come on! Break! Break! Yay! <laughs> Ugh, this leg is really annoying. So let's take this out too. I don't know. I'm kind of having second thoughts. I am so indecisive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where should I make his little house? I think this will be cool so that that way like I can come out of the house and then his little tree house is right here. But then it would be kind of cool to come over here and then step on the stairs I don't know I don't know I am or or I can make it right here somewhere I think I'll do that uh, but I'm gonna need an axe so let me go get one of those things okay everyone so I finally finished Owly's tree and I decided to use the rainbow trees from the uh, Twilight Forest that we had in the tree farm. I picked up some of their saplings and I just added them to the tree, but I'm still not finished. I'll probably add finishing touches to it once um, I'm finished recording, probably off camera, because I've already spent a lot of time on this. And I really, really like how it came out. I really, really like the idea of a little magical owl living in a little magical rainbow tree. So let's put some torches over here so that there's light in here oh and he's already in here he loves his home already so let's let's let him make him sit and then let's add some little mushrooms around over here there and right here and maybe two right here and let's add can we add some right here yay let's add some mm. I think it's gonna like Adam. Okay, so then we'll add uh, one more right there, and we have one more left, and we'll just put it right there. Yay! So his little magical tree is done, and he's already in here. Oh, he looks so cute in his little tree. But I don't know what to call the tree. Um, hmm, what should we call his home? I don't know, but if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments below, and next episode I will be sure to pick somebody's comment. So if you have a name suggestion for Owly's Tree, um, let me know in the comments below because I can't really think of anything. 
So, before we end this episode, I think I'm gonna go check on the... That arcane reconstructor, see how it's doing, and I'll probably, what I'll do is, I'll probably do some more research on it off camera because, yeah, it's gonna take too long. So let's see what this is at. Charge level 34%, and I don't know if it would, can I see, nope. Okay, oops. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's, let me, let me, let me, let me double check just to see. If it's charged or anything, zero percent. Okay. <laughs> so I think what I'll do is I'll probably double check on the. Oh, my horns are purple. How did that happen? This? Oh, that's so awesome. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, remember to give it a like and don't forget to leave a name suggestion for Owly's house. And I will see you all in the next episode.